Hey guys, I'm down at my local beach doing a little bit of testing on the latest version of the Halide app for the iPhone. This is version 2.15, just released a couple of days ago, and it includes this brand new mode called Process Zero. Uh, and this is the Halide developers giving what a lot of photographers have been asking for for some time, which is freedom from computational photography. So when you take a photograph with an iPhone or Android phone, pretty much any modern smartphone, there is a lot going on under the hood. The iPhone or the Android phone is doing lots of work analyzing the scene. In many instances, the phones take a series of shots and combine them behind the scenes, invisible to you, uh, and then merge them together to create a shot that's got less noise in it. Now, that's great for the vast majority of people who just want simple photographs uh, and they don't want to worry whether when they're shooting inside if the window's blown out of dynamic range or you know the shadows are too dark they just want a photograph that's well lit but if you're a hobbyist photographer or a serious photographer then you want a bit more flexibility and you want photographs that are free of that over process look so kudos to the halide team for releasing this process zero mode uh, what they say about it is that it uses zero ai and zero computational photography to produce natural film-like photos. They say that you have to be a little bit more hands-on with this mode, which probably means using the manual mode. So you set your exposure, aperture, ISO, whatever, manually uh, to get the image looking the way you want. Um, and they also say that because there's none of the processing going on, there's more grain, more noise, if you like, in the shot. So I actually prefer a little bit of grain in the shots. I hate that kind of over-processed, sort of smooth, sort of almost plasticky look that you get with a lot of these cameras and their photographic systems that the uh, developers, Apple and Google and Samsung and co have built into them. So I've been doing a range of testing. I've did some shots in the old back garden some flowers and stuff uh, then I came down here to my local beach I did some shots over the back there at the river and I've just come down here to the beach and taken some shots here uh, and I'll show you the process that you go through with the app to put it into process zero mode and to take these completely un-AI non-computational photographs so I brought the uh, halide app down to a testing environment with some strong dynamic range so we can see if there are any huge benefits in shooting in this pure mode. So I've got my screen recording going here and let's just check what setting we're in first. Go into capture and what I'll do is I will shoot some shots in Pro Raw and Apple Process, so we've got a means of comparison. So here first is Pro Raw, and then we'll switch to the Apple Process. So using all the goodies that Apple have got at their disposal, take that photo, and I'm going to switch to Process Zero. And ideally with this, you want to be shooting in manual. So I'm going to switch to manual. I've got my histogram at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I can see if I lower that down that we've got a little bit underexposed there. And there's the zebras coming in. So pretty neutral sort of uh, exposure setting there. Let's take the shot with the process mode. So I've taken all of my test shots. I'm going to head back to the house, import the raw photographs into Adobe Lightroom, and we'll compare the images, see what the processing is like. 
and whether there are any huge advantages to process zero in the new Halide app or not. Well guys, I'm back in the office and I have imported all of the photographs from my testing. And then what I did was in, in Lightroom, I stuck the two shots, the Apple computational shot versus the Halide Process Zero version in the compare mode in Lightroom and just took some screenshots. So just to save a bit of time so we can run through the differences and I can show you what's going on. In this first instance, if you look at the chair leg here, compare the two. On the Apple one, it's kind of criminally over sharpened. It's so crisp, it almost looks like it's levitating above these tiles here. So the Halide uh, Process Zero version, way better in this instance. In this shot, the thing that caught my eye was all this stuff in between the little twigs and branches in the tree. Look how unnatural that looks. Very over sharpened. It's ridiculous, actually, if you look at it. And it's so sharpened, the, the leaves here, they've almost got this kind of zigzag effect going on. Compare that to the Halloween Process Zero. We've got nice, smooth, natural looking sky tones. It hasn't over sharpened all these ferns. Yes. There's a bit more grain in the Halide version, but that is not to the detriment of the photograph. I think it greatly enhances it. Here's one of the June shots. And again, we've got this funky kind of crinolated stuff going on in the computational version. In an attempt to extract as much kind of sharpness and clarity from the photograph, it's just made it look completely unnatural. And you've got this kind of pixelated effect going on when you zoom in. These are all 300% incidentally, they don't normally look, they sort of zoomed in with pixel peeping so we can see what's going on, but it's a stark contrast, isn't it? Moving on to the estuary shots, and I call your attention to the water in this one. Look what it's done, where it's gone for the kind of the highlights in the water, and you've almost got, it's looked like, I don't know, it's like plastic wrapping and not water. Notice also the tree line here and compare it to this one. This is crisper in the Apple computational one, but that is not a good thing. I found this part of the photo very interesting. Compare the end of this bit of driftwood here, this big old tree that's washed up on the estuary and all the detail in this and compare it over here. So it's trying to kind of bring out the detail in the tree roots and it just looks terrible. Now I mentioned that this process zero is not as forgiving as the Apple computational photography modes. And you can see that starkly illustrated in this. So these are taken seconds apart You've got the Apple version on the left, and you've got the Halide version on the right. The Apple version is an HDR shot. So the iPhone's taken a series of images, I'm not sure how many, and it's combined them. So it's got the entire dynamic range in the shot from the highlights to the shadows. Over on the right here, we have the version that I took with the Process Zero, and I exposed for the highlights so that they were correctly exposed so that I could then process this in Adobe Lightroom and lift the shadows. And I'll show you what the resulting processed shot for that. I'll put it up on screen and you can see that I feel that it's just simply a more natural looking shot than the HDR version that you get with Apple Photos. One thing I found interesting in my testing was that Despite what you might think, you're actually losing some detail with the computational photography. So here's the Apple version on the left, you can tell, because it's a lot more saturated. And here's the other version. Now look at all these different little lines that we've got that have started to appear. How much more detail there is in the Process Zero version on the right. This area here, there's all these little lines in this orange, which are virtually invisible or completely invisible in the Apple version. It's obviously much less forgiving than the built-in photo app with all of its parlor tricks, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing, is it? 
it makes smartphone photography that little bit closer to the results that you can get with a full camera. It's quite amusing in a way, isn't it? We photographers are now having to pay not to have our photographs enhanced. And that will do us for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, you know the drill, please give it a like and leave me a comment down below if you've got halide uh, and have tested this process zero mode yourself. Are you a fan of computational photography or do you like to keep it as clean and simple and unprocessed as possible? Do let me know in the comments section below and I will see you on the next one. Ta-ta.